morning, surprise, surprise. I'm with Nick and Francis for another day. I think we can just make it in time for my flight to get from Locarno to Splugen, which is about two thirds of their ride. So I decided to risk it and put all my luggage with Paul in the van and ride with them for another day. Mate, you're fucked. Paul's just gonna nick your stuff and eat there. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I don't even know if we're gonna see him again. He's a dodgy geezer. So yeah, Paul, please give me my stuff back. We're expecting a lot of rain today, pretty much like yesterday. But the first hour, half an hour is probably going to be dry. So we're going to enjoy it. We're riding these beautiful cycling paths. And then the one big climb that we're doing is the San Bernardino Pass, which is a little over 2000 meters of elevation. I'm just happy to ride for another day. Otherwise, I would have been waiting at the airport for a while. And now I get to enjoy this. Quick little reminder of why we're doing this. As you might have seen in uh, the last video I made, Nick is riding for four weeks all the way from the Pyrenees, through the Alps, through Switzerland, Italy, as many mountains as he can climb for to raise money for Movember, a men's mental health organization. So if you can help him out by making a small donation, put a link in the description and uh, now I hope you enjoy this video. But 20k of solid cycle length. Yeah. It's been amazing. Yeah, not shitty cycle length either. Solid at home? Yeah, you're spoiled in the <laughs> Netherlands, man. For sure. This is funny. We've had 30 kilometers of perfectly paved cycling path, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> there's 400 meters of some kind of gravel back road through a forest, and then it will turn into a paved path again. At least I'm on my gravel bike. Yeah. <laughs> Time for a first coffee stop. Mm. Did you make? Did you have days where you made this much progress? No. <laughs> no. It's because we've had you to sit no on your. Problems. You sat on your wheel, and we've both had a, like a rest rest yeah. day. It's been good. I'm going to um, take this for the rest of the way though. This was always a plan. Yeah, that's why it's parked here. Yeah. Paul left it here. It's the, uh, it's the Romato finish. It's the new Villier. <laughs> we were testing back when we were uh, at that press launch and we couldn't show it, but now, yeah. Oh yeah, hashtag ad. climb has started the first 15 kilometers is really maybe two three percent and then it kicks up with another 25 ish kilometers where it gets really steep we're climbing 2,000 meters in total for this one climb up the San Bernardino Pass let's see how good the legs are after one week of riding luckily I didn't do two weeks yet like these guys Lovely. We're just uh, climbing now for ages. Hopefully through this mountain rather than up it the whole way. <laughs> but yeah, ah, if it can stay like this. We've got the main road next to us, which means this road's just empty. empty. So we've sort of fingers crossed it'll be like this for the rest of the ride. Not very stressful. Tap it out. Legs are fucked. <laughs> All right, the climb has properly started now. It's ramped up from 2% to 8%. Still just trying to take it easy because it's a long one, this one. I'm at 860 meters of elevation. And we're going to 2000. Walk, turn around and walk away. Just, yeah, sound of yeah. waterfalls. Yeah. That low lying cloud as well. It's moody. <laughs> We're a 
halfway up the climb, having a quick lunch break before we continue and do the last um, thousand meters of elevation. It's so peaceful here and my favorite thing is that you constantly hear waterfalls because there's so much water. This is a familiar sight. <laughs> Super focused. You have to concentrate quite hard, <laughs> don't you? Yeah. We're riding into the clouds right now, so the views are becoming more and more spectacular. And still, there's no one on the road. Well, no one but Paul, of course. This far without any rain. Like, yeah. My yeah. first time on this side, yeah. climbing this side. It's I good, love huh? it. Yeah. It's beautiful. And no traffic and such a beautiful surface. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The the top part of this climb is a little bit flat. Riding along this lake. We're heading for this restaurant over there. Hoping that they have some coffee. And maybe some food, some real food, because we I haven't really had any lunch yet. And then there's a 15 kilometer descent. And then it's already over for me. I have to go to the airport. It's been an amazing, an amazing week in Switzerland though. Absolutely loved it. Heute geschlossen. It's closed. Closed hotel. Yeah. Closed restaurant. I guess that means a uh, 10 minute descent and uh, my coffee at the bottom. I need more layers than this. Yeah. I mean, Atticus Gile is brilliant, but. <laughs> shout, shout out to Atticus. Hashtag <laughs> <laughs> So that was a quick goodbye. My bus leaves in five minutes, so I didn't have all that much time. But uh, yeah, that's my trip done. Uh, I'm taking a couple of trains and a bus to the airport, and then I'm flying back home. I had an awesome time in Switzerland. The three days with Ride Among the Giants were the best, but you will still see them in future videos. And now these three days with uh, Nick, Francis and Paul were also really good. We did some more exploring, I saw some more of the country and it was really nice to hang out with a bunch of people and to finally meet Francis and Nick. The conclusion is, you should come to Switzerland. Other conclusion is, you should help Nick's project. The link is in the description, donate some money for a good cause, it will make everyone feel better and uh, hope you have a nice day. That's it, catch you later, bye bye. What an epic climb. That was quite cool. Yeah. Too tired to appreciate it. Yeah? Yeah. We've reached a point now, I think. Like, I mean, it's nice. I look at the footage and appreciate it. Up to six <laughs> or seven percent. Yeah. It's still nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you notice it as soon as it's like one or two percent more. Yeah. Yeah, nine, definitely. It's like, it sucks. You must be getting some epic shots. <laughs> Every time he points the camera at us, a, a car comes past. <laughs> Seriously, it's like a magnet. <laughs>